uh, win the championship against the former team. Okay, it was a competitive series. Uh, you know, really could have gone either way, but uh, you know, this team has a lot of championship experience. Both teams do, but I thought, I thought these guys, you know, with the amount of championships that they've won through the, the past few years, I think really, really made a difference, especially in the end game of this series. But personally, have you ever thought that you're going to have to beat your former team despite being up? You never know, you know, but you know, that's that's the way life is. And you know, right now I'm helping San Miguel, so I'm doing the best I can to, to help the, the franchise continue to win. And uh, again, Coach Leo and the rest of the staff and, and the players, you know, they deserve all the credit. So speaking of helping San Miguel, you just you're helping Dan Romeo and D1 Finals MVP. Talk about talk about helping Terrence too. No, I, I don't think I don't think anyone's ever questioned Terrence's talent, but I think he's done a great job of coming to San Miguel and just finding his space and, and finding a way to contribute. And you know, being able to do that and, and still play at, at the high level that he that he's capable of resulted in another championship and a, and a Finals MVP. So he deserves all the credit. So San Miguel is now two out, two out of two in the field this, this season. Are you, are you looking forward to, to San Miguel finally competing at the, the, the Grand Slam? You know, it's, it's a rare opportunity, but you know, we, we've, we've put ourselves in, in, in a position to do it. Um, these guys should enjoy this right now, and then you know, we'll, we'll shift our focus to, to the third conference in due time. All right, thank you very much.